As a former Sephora beauty advisor, I've made it my mission to tell you which products are worth the money. Buckle in, because today we're doing foundations. Oh my gosh, no, I hated this product. I find it's really patchy and it leaves a matte finish, but not in a cute way. It's a very flat finish, so I would not recommend it at all. Okay, I absolutely love the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation, but hear me out. The Anastasia Beverly Hills is almost exactly identical and it is cheaper, so I would go for this one over this one at this point. This is one of the OGs for a reason, but I actually really prefer their newer launch. So if you're looking to splurge on a foundation that looks good on camera, I would go for the newer version because I think it would do better for a lot of different skin types. It's a little bit lighter and it's more buildable. Okay, you don't need this foundation. Let's not support brands that do a really shitty job on their shade ranges. While the formula is really cool, I would opt for something else. This is one of the most gorgeous matte foundations that's matte without looking flat. Be sure to like for part two.